it's so special to be able to meet with you like this. I am here at our in our Sunday school room, as you can see, and I know you're at home. We, all our Sunday school teachers, just want to say we miss you so much, but we are so excited to be able to meet with you like this. So I know you've been busy with school and busy with different activities, but we are so um, blessed to be able to be together once again. And when we left the last time, we had food piled up high and we had food down here and it's all gone now because Vicar Matt picked it up and took it to the special CRCC del delivery area for our people who need it so, so much. So we're so thankful for all your help in bringing food. Um, also, we're going to have a, a special lesson and our lesson is about disciples. And I'd like to um, today want to know whether you can tell me what do you think a disciple is? Talk to your brother, sister, talk to your mom, and just or dad, whoever's there, or just say it, pretend like I can hear you. <laughs> okay? All right. You know what? A disciple is someone who follows Jesus. And you know what? Um, Jesus had. A special team, a special team that he called his special disciples, and there were, I wonder if you remember how many, 12. He had 12 disciples and he invited them to come with them. So there's lots of other people who followed him, but these 12 were his 12 that he taught and um, spoke to and, and helped them learn different things. Um, so, um, if you're thinking like today, who would a disciple be today in our life right now? Who is here um, that helps us learn more maybe about God, maybe helps us learn more about Jesus? Um, who do you think would be doing that? Okay, if you said Pastor Kate, yes, she is always teaching us every week, even via the um, Facebook and the website, right? And Vicar Matt, right? But what about in your home? Do you have anybody in your home that maybe is one of your um, disciples that lead you? Your mom, your mom, and your dad, of course, they are always leading and guiding us in that way. Well, you and I, um, who believe in Jesus, are all disciples. We are all disciples. So we have a special story today. And the special story comes from our Sparks Story Bible. And I know that it has the fun cartoony um, characters in it. And this one is called, it lets us know how Jesus chose his, his disciples. So it starts off like this. I hope you can see. There the disciples are. I'm going to set it up here a little bit and I hope that will come out. See, Jesus told everyone he met, repent. Stop the bad things you're doing and turn to do good things. And one day, Jesus was at the, sea sh the seashore and a crowd had gathered to listen to him. And they wanted to know what he had to say. Well, Jesus saw a boat out there and he hopped onto this fishing boat and so more people could see him so if he's in the ocean in the lake there they could see him as he's in the boat now thanks for letting me use the boat jesus said and then he said said to the fisher brothers simon and andrew i want to thank you with lots of fish throw out your nets We'll try, they sighed. He says, but we finished, fished all, all night and we caught nothing. They say, absolutely nothing. They explained, well, suddenly they felt their nets tug and then they were overflowing with fish. Rip, pop, snap. The nets were so full that they were breaking. The brothers pulled in so many fish that their boat started to sink. Help, they called to their friends 
In another boat, we have too many fish. James and John rushed to their rescue. The weight of the fish took their boats under two. So now there's two people. Now there's four people in the boat. They knew that their new friend, Jesus, must be someone very special because he told, he told them to catch those fish. Hey, Simon and Andrew. Hey, James and John. Follow me, Jesus called to them. Let's catch people instead of fish. The two set of brothers dropped their nets into the sea. They were not fishermen anymore. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Well, Jesus met a tax collector in his office. Hey, Matthew, follow me, Jesus called. Let's collect people instead of money. Clink, Matthew, the tax collector, dropped his coins to the ground, and he was not a tax collector anymore. And now he was a disciple. Now he would follow Jesus. I know, Ben, you'll be looking for that little critter down there, Ben Garcia. He can't wait to see where he is and what he's thinking. Jesus met seven others that day. Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Thaddeus, another Simon, and Judas. Follow me, Jesus said to each of them. Crash, boing, boom. They stopped and they dropped what they were doing now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Jesus and his 12 friends, the disciples, shared the workload with many other followers, including Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Susanna, and Susanna. No matter where they went, Jesus called for men and women and boys and girls to drop what they were doing and follow him. So I'd like you to, uh, I'd like to share a song with you. And this is the Disciples List, and it has all 12 names on it. And it's such a special song. So let's see. All people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. John 13, 35. very different names like Thaddeus, Bartholomew. Whoa, really great. Well, you know what? Um, if we sing that song, we'll be able to read, not only say those words, but read those words. Um, I want to share, a, have you do a project at home, just a simple project. I'd like you to, I'm just going to get this piece of paper here, and if I take this down, um, and I want you to draw Jesus and the 12 disciples. Now I think, wait a minute, I, I, people are kind of tricky to draw, but no, just, just use like stick figures. So in your picture, I need to see 12 disciples, but also Jesus. So I'm going to make Jesus over here. I'm going to make a circle of a stick figure. There we go. And maybe he's reaching his hands out. I can maybe put... Um, a robe on him later. Um, you know, with Jesus, um, Bible times, he probably had fairly long hair. I don't think they had barbers like we do. Okay, now, 12 need to be there. I could put them around a table. I could put them some in the sea. I could put them following him at like the big group shot at the end. 
So I think what I'm going to do is put a, a little bit of the lake, and maybe I'll put out one boat. And here will be Simon, and maybe Andrew, and then I might, I could just put all the rest down here. And you can just draw any way you want. It doesn't have to be anything difficult. So, but see, now let me see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got to keep going. So when you get your picture done, put your name on the back of it, okay? And we'll put the drink, and I want you to save it in a special place and bring it to us when we get to, when we're able to come together again, okay? Because then we can decorate our room with what you've done. Well, we've heard about Jesus, and we've heard about his disciples, and we've heard that Jesus invited the disciples. He learned their names. We also learned their names. And they um, left their homes. They left their jobs. They dropped everything, and they came with Jesus. Okay, how can we follow Jesus and be his disciples? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I know. You say, oh, I'm only a kid, and um, I have to ask my mom to do this, or my dad to do this. Um, but Jesus really wants, wants you on the team, on his whole team, if we say. Um, and he wants kids that will maybe um, be willing to talk about God, talk about God to your friends. Maybe, maybe someone who, when you see that they, in your class, when you get back to your class, or you see that someone isn't a friend, or doesn't have a friend, or it, uh, needs a friend, that you might be that person for that person. That's who Jesus wants to see. Look for opportunities. All the things you do with your good manners, your showing respect, and all these things are ways to show um, that you are one of Jesus, Jesus' disciples. So let's close, let's close in a prayer, right? Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, we want to follow you. We want to be your disciples. Help us understand how we can be your disciples today, tomorrow, and always. Amen. Bye, everybody. We'll see you uh, next week, maybe, okay? And we're going to learn about one disciple that's one of these 12 that um, is, uh, has a special message for us, too. Bye-bye.